Hello, welcome to day three of my 12 days of Christmas series. Today I'm going to be making a different type of a shaker card using this stamp set from Art Impressions. So they come with one of these action wobblers that you can buy in a separate pack and it's a small plastic spring that you can glue onto one side of your paper and one side of a stamped and cut out image to make it wobble. So we're going to use the reindeer and the separate stamp for his reindeer butt. I'm going to position those on my stamp press and ink them up using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. This ink works really well with alcohol ink markers and it won't bleed. So what I'm going to do with this is stamp it down and then colour it in using my Spectrum Noir alcohol ink markers. So I'm just using the TN4, TN6 and TN8 for the body, starting with the lightest, the medium and then the darkest and then blending those out. So I just skipped over that part, I didn't want to show you the whole colouring in. Um, it's a very simple colour blend, just as I say, blending out the dark into the medium, into the light, just to get somewhat of a realistic effect. For the hooves and the antlers, I'm using EB3 and EB4. Okay, so moving on to the hair and the tail, I've got EB3 and TN6 and GB5. For the nose and the collar, I'm using some of the reds. It's the DR5 and the DR4. So as you can see, I'm not really too concerned with my colour blending for the sections of the stamp that will be covered by the additional stamped reindeer rear end. So I'm going to um, cut that out with my scissors because I didn't want the white edge that the die would have left behind, but you can use the die if you would prefer. So I'm taking some patterned paper, this is 6 by 6 pattern paper, and I'm cutting out a stitched rectangle. So this die will just leave behind some stitched detail on the paper, which I think is really nice. It's quite subtle, but I think it's a nice effect. I'm then taking the stitched slopes die from Mummer Elephant and cutting out a slope for some hills for the reindeer to stand on. So I want to place this on the front of the card and have the stitching detail continue down the sides and the bottom. So I'm just going to cut this piece out again using that stitched rectangle die from Simon Says Stamp and that will make sure that the stitching detail is not only across the first cut line but also down the sides and the bottom. So I'm really making use of this 6x6 piece of paper and I'm also getting a second hill just by again die cutting using the Mummer Elephant die. So I'm going to glue down both of my hills. I could have added some dimension to this hill in the front, but I actually wanted to keep this quite a flat card. So I'm just gluing both of those hills, one on top of the other, to the background of the card. I glued the first one down just so I could make sure the placement of that second hill was perfectly aligned. So now I'm just fussy cutting the reindeer. This doesn't take too long, but I have sped this portion of the video up. Um, I would just advise that you make sure you move the paper more than the scissors. Um, that really helps if you turn your paper as you're trying to cut it. Okay, so now I'm just laying the image down on the uh, front of this patterned paper piece so I can figure out where to stamp the Jingle Bells sentiment. I decided to use a speech bubble die to cut this out. And I'm going to stamp in Versamark black ink. This is quite a wet ink. And I'm going to stamp on some vellum and pour on some embossing powder. I find that this is a little bit easier to use clear embossing powder over black ink rather than using a clear ink and a black embossing powder. It just makes sure that no flecks of that embossing powder end up stuck to your vellum. I'm placing a piece of tape over the top of my die and then I can just stick the paper down. I can look straight through the vellum and make sure that that sentiment is lined up perfectly. I'm now gluing the reindeer onto the front of the card, making sure that he's centered on that back hill in the background there and just pressing it down with an acrylic block. Okay, so now for the vellum piece, I'm just taking my quick glue pen and tracing some glue over each of the areas that have the embossing. It's quite difficult to glue down vellum. You have to make sure that the glue is hidden because you will see it quite clearly through the vellum paper. Okay, so now for the fun part. I'm peeling off the backing for the action wobbler and I'm sticking part of that to the stamp and then I'll peel the rest off and stick it to the back of the reindeer. 
Now with these action wobblers you don't have to use the stamps that they're designed to be used for, you can make them work with some other stamps that you have as long as the image is bigger than the action wobbler. So I've got some basil textured cardstock here, this is the, I believe it is the velvet cardstock and I've just made a four and a quarter by five and a half inch note card that I'll be sticking this front panel to. Now if you wanted to you could stop here and that would be a really nice finished card but I decided that I wanted to add a little bit something extra to this and use an actual jingle bell um, and attach that with a glue dot onto my reindeer. So I had these silver um, jingle bells that I happened to have from last year and I just coloured one in using a gold permanent marker and then placed a glue dot right in the center of the stamped image jingle bell and I was able to just lift this up and press it down. I really like the effect of having the real jingle bell on the card. I just think it's really cute to be able to shake the action wobbler and have that jingle sound. So thank you so much for joining me for day three. If you want to catch up on the other previous two days of this 12 days of Christmas series, I'll have a link in the description below. I'll be back again on Tuesday with day four and I hope to see you there. Bye for now.